For decades, China's ambition to establish an independent and powerful aviation industry was stifled. Western nations, wary of China's growing military might, imposed strict sanctions. These sanctions restricted China's access to critical technologies. The message was clear. China was to remain reliant on foreign powers for its aerospace ambitions. This reliance was a source of frustration and a strategic vulnerability. China was determined to break free from these constraints. Western sanctions specifically targeted China's access to advanced aero engine technology. Aero engines, the heart of any aircraft, are incredibly complex machines. Their design and production require deep technological expertise and sophisticated manufacturing capabilities. By denying China access to these technologies, Western powers aim to keep China's aviation industry several steps behind. This technological disparity was keenly felt by Chinese engineers and policymakers alike. It fueled a determination to achieve self-reliance in this critical sector. Domestic airlines were forced to rely on foreign suppliers for aircraft and maintenance. This dependence had significant economic and strategic implications. It made Chinese airlines vulnerable to price fluctuations and supply chain disruptions. More importantly, it underscored China's vulnerability in a sector deemed crucial for national security and economic growth. Engineers and scientists doubled down on their efforts to develop indigenous technologies. The Chinese government poured resources into research and development, recognizing the strategic importance of a self-sufficient aviation industry. China's journey in aero engine technology was not an overnight success story. It was a story of perseverance, marked by initial setbacks and incremental progress. Early attempts to develop indigenous engines were met with limited success. The engines produced were often less powerful, less fuel-efficient, and less reliable than their Western counterparts. These challenges underscored the complexity of aero engine technology and the long road ahead for China. Undeterred, China continued to invest heavily in research and development. The nation's top engineering schools churned out a new generation of highly skilled engineers. State-owned enterprises and research institutions collaborated on ambitious projects. The goal was clear, to bridge the technological gap and develop engines that could rival the best in the world. The WS-10, while not without its initial problems, represented a major step towards self-sufficiency. It powered the J-11 and J-15 fighter jets, demonstrating China's growing capability in aero engine technology. Further progress came with the development of the turbojet 14 and turbofan 15 engines. While the development of conventional aero engines continued, a team of Chinese scientists and engineers embarked on a far more ambitious project. Their goal was to develop an engine capable of powering an aircraft to hypersonic speeds, speeds exceeding Mach 5. This endeavor was a testament to China's growing technological prowess and its ambition to lead in the field of aerospace technology. Hypersonic flight, characterized by intense heat and pressure, pushes the boundaries of material science and engine design. Existing engine technologies like turbojets and turbofans were simply not suitable for sustained hypersonic flight. A fundamentally different approach was needed. The breakthrough came with the development of a revolutionary new engine, the Oblique Detonation Ramjet, or ODRI. The ODRI operates on a completely different principle than conventional jet engines. It uses a supersonic combustion process, where fuel is mixed with air and ignited in a continuous detonation wave. This process generates immense thrust, allowing the engine to achieve unprecedented speeds. The engine, capable of propelling an aircraft to Mach 16, represented a quantum leap in hypersonic technology. The Oblique Detonation Ramjet, or ODRI, is more than just a powerful engine. It's a game-changer in the world of aerospace engineering. It represents a paradigm shift in engine technology, promising to revolutionize both air and space travel. Traditional jet engines like turbojets and turbofans rely on a multi-stage process of air intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust. While effective for subsonic and supersonic speeds, these engines are limited by the speed of sound within their combustion chambers. The ODRE bypasses this limitation through a radical innovation supersonic combustion. In the ODRE, air enters the engine at supersonic speeds. Instead of slowing this air down for combustion, as in traditional jet engines, the ODRE utilizes it. Fuel is injected into this supersonic airflow, creating a highly volatile mixture. This mixture is then ignited, not in a controlled burn like a conventional engine, 
but in a continuous detonation wave. This detonation wave, traveling faster than the speed of sound, creates an immense pressure increase, resulting in unparalleled thrust. Section 5 Where Innovation Takes Flight The JF-22 Wind Tunnel the development of a hypersonic engine as complex and revolutionary as the ODRE required cutting-edge testing facilities. Enter the JF-22 Wind Tunnel, a marvel of engineering located deep within the Chinese heartland. This facility, shrouded in secrecy, played a pivotal role in bringing the ODRE from concept to reality. The JF-22 is not your typical wind tunnel, it's a hypersonic wind tunnel capable of simulating the extreme conditions of flight at speeds up to Mach 30. This incredible feat is achieved through a combination of powerful compressors, heating elements, and advanced aerodynamic design. Inside the JF-22, engineers could subject the ODRE to the scorching heat and crushing pressures it would experience during hypersonic flight. The data gathered from these tests was invaluable. It allowed engineers to fine-tune the ODRE's design, optimizing its performance and ensuring its reliability under the most demanding conditions. The JF-22, in essence, was a virtual proving ground for the hypersonic engine. It provided a safe and controlled environment to push the limits of this groundbreaking technology. Section 6. A New Race for Supremacy, Comparing China and U.S. Engine Capabilities The emergence of China's hypersonic engine has reignited the global race for technological supremacy, particularly in the realm of hypersonic flight. The United States, long considered the leader in aerospace technology, now faces a serious competitor. Comparing the capabilities of Chinese and U.S. hypersonic engines reveals a rapidly shifting landscape. The United States has been researching and developing hypersonic technologies for decades. Its efforts have yielded notable results, including the X-51 Waverider, a scramjet-powered experimental aircraft that achieved speeds exceeding Mach 5. However, the development of a reliable and practical hypersonic engine has remained elusive for the U.S. China's ODRE, with its reported speed of Mach 16, appears to have surpassed U.S. capabilities, at least on paper. The engine's unique design and revolutionary combustion process have caught the attention of U.S. defense analysts. Some experts suggest that the U.S. is facing a hypersonic gap, a potential technological disadvantage with significant implications for national security. The U.S. remains committed to hypersonic research, investing heavily in programs aimed at developing new engines and aircraft. Section 7. Fueling the Future Efficiency and Combustion in the Hypersonic Age One of the most remarkable aspects of China's ODRE is not just its raw power, but its potential for increased fuel efficiency compared to traditional scramjet technology. This advancement is a game-changer as fuel consumption has always been a limiting factor in hypersonic flight. The secret lies in the ODRE's unique combustion process. Scramjets, the traditional choice for hypersonic propulsion, rely on compressing incoming air at supersonic speeds. While effective, this process generates significant drag and heat, requiring complex cooling systems and consuming vast amounts of fuel. The ODRE with its oblique detonation wave offers a more efficient alternative, the detonation wave in the ODRE creates a much faster and more complete combustion process. This means less fuel is required to achieve the same amount of thrust. Additionally, the oblique nature of the detonation wave reduces drag, further contributing to fuel efficiency. This breakthrough has the potential to revolutionize hypersonic travel, making it more practical for both military and civilian applications. Section 8. Beyond the Horizon Hypersonics Impact on Military Travel and Space The development of practical and efficient hypersonic engines like China's ODRE has the potential to revolutionize not just aviation, but also military strategy, global travel, and even space exploration. The implications of this technology are far-reaching, ushering in a new era of high-speed transport and reshaping the geopolitical landscape. In the military realm, hypersonic weapons pose a significant challenge, their speed and maneuverability render them extremely difficult to track and intercept, potentially shifting the balance of power. Hypersonic missiles could strike targets anywhere in the world within minutes, rendering traditional defense systems obsolete. This new era of warfare demands a fundamental reassessment of military doctrines and strategies. The civilian sector stands to benefit greatly from hypersonic technology as well. Imagine boarding a hypersonic passenger jet in New York and arriving in Tokyo in under two hours. While commercial hypersonic flight faces technical and economic hurdles, 
the potential for drastically reduced travel times and increased global connectivity is undeniable. The same engine technology that powers hypersonic aircraft could also be used to develop more efficient and powerful space launch vehicles. Section 9. The Dragon's Ascent – China's Trajectory Towards Aerospace Dominance China's rapid progress in aerospace technology, particularly its development of the hypersonic ODRE engine, signals a potential shift in the global balance of power. For decades the United States has held an almost unchallenged position as the world leader in aerospace. However, China's recent achievements suggest that this dominance is no longer assured. China's commitment to investing in research and development, coupled with its strategic vision for technological self-reliance, has yielded impressive results. The ODRE is just one example of China's growing prowess in aerospace. From developing its own space station to landing a rover on Mars, China is rapidly checking off major milestones in space exploration and technological advancement. The implications of China's rise as an aerospace power are significant. On a geopolitical level, it challenges U.S. hegemony, potentially leading to a more multipolar world order. Economically, China's advancements in aerospace technology could translate into a dominant position in the lucrative global market for commercial satellites, space tourism, and hypersonic travel. The world is witnessing the dawn of a new era in aerospace, and China is positioned to play a leading role.